Thank you, everybody. His campaign's become radioactive, pushing away more Republicans by the day. Many in the establishment wing of the party made a point of staying away from the GOP convention. Not one member of the Bush family was there. But now, Jeb Bush's son, George P. Bush, is calling for his fellow Republicans to support Donald Trump. I know a lot of us in this room had dogs in the fight in the primary uh, leading up to the race. But you know what? It's time to put it aside. This is the son of the former candidate who endured these insults from Trump during the primary campaign. He can't fix anything. He's a low energy person. He's not tough. He's not smart. Guy doesn't have a clue. He's like a child. He's a stiff. He's an embarrassment. When you go to Jeb Bush's rally, you fall asleep almost immediately. His family's so ashamed. And he called him a puppet and a loser. How do you come out and support someone who said these things about your father? Okay, I, I think it's probably not easy for George P. Bush. I suspect that he feels about as much enthusiasm about supporting Donald Trump as I do about hand-massaged kale. That being said, he has got some requirements he's got to, he feels he has to fulfill. GOP strategist Ana Navarro, who's plugged in with the Bush family, says Jeb and his son remain very close, and this won't change that. On those requirements she talks about, George P. Bush is the Texas Land Commissioner and has also been appointed to lead the Republican Party's coordinated campaign in Texas. That involves helping to get everyone on the ballot in Texas elected, including Donald Trump. Analysts say George P. is under pressure from a GOP power base in Texas that's getting more conservative, embracing Trump's angry brand of politics. All of George P.'s advisors are people here in Texas, and they aren't thinking, I can guarantee you, about Jeb Bush's future. They're thinking about George P.'s future. Observers say George P. Bush's extended family understands that. Navarro says there's also an understanding this is not an endorsement. You're not going to see him wearing a Trump sticker, wearing a Trump T-shirt, and out there campaigning or fundraising or any of that. Now, will this hurt George P. Bush's political future? Observers say this is a move to actually protect his future, that he's got to keep an eye on that conservative wing of the Texas GOP and stay in their good graces. Wolf, these are traditionally now Ted Cruz supporters. Now, neither Jeb Bush's nor George P. Bush's offices would comment on the record for this story.